Hello everyone and welcome back to Sude, which is actually the name given to Ocarina of Time Randomizer, which I didn't actually know the first time when I recorded it. I just thought it was called Ocarina of Time Randomizer, but it actually had an acronym, which I didn't know, which is really cool. Um, you can see right now there's daylight, that's the only difference between this recording and the previous recording, because I need to go to Lawn Run Ranch, or rather that's what I decided that I would do in this one. There's also a lot we can do in the Lost Forest now that we both have the Ocarina and the Slingshot. So there's also some things we can do there, which I will check out what is what that possibly rewards are going to be. Um, but first of all, we'll go to Lone Lone Ranch and do the three things we can do there. And of course, meet um, Taylor and uh, Talon. Taylor? Taylor? Taylor's brother! Which I also talked about in the last one, which was not to Mario and Luigi. But th 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 this game is really fun, I, I must say. I as I've said in the last one that this is a lot more fun to me than I actually expected it to be. So that, that, that that's something, right? Um, <laughs> but th that's the thing with these old games, that the nostalgia hits you, especially when you grew up with them. I was seven when this game came out, and my brother was 14, so guess what? We played this a lot, and I talked about that the last time around as well. Let's go in here. There's nothing important in here other than we can meet Taylor's brother. It might Grady Ingo! <laughs> and he looks very tired. He looks more tired than <laughs> And yeah, 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 I would actually agree with Ingo there. Talon is kind of lazy. We will see just in a moment why. Um, but just because he's hard working doesn't mean that he has the rights to take over when we could become an adult. But that's another thing. It's actually also going to be interesting because one of the things where we can get is a song. And it's going to be interesting which song that is going to be. But first of all, we're going to go in here. And he's sleeping again. He's very much constantly sleeping. Why? Okay. So we need to... This is a minigame which my brother hated. And I, I talked about last time he didn't let me play. Except if it was um, puzzles or minigames he absolutely hated. Then I was allowed to play. Because then I could do it and he would not have to worry about it. So basically, um, this is just... Uh, we need to find his super cuckoos. Because they apparently have a more prominent sound than the other hens. So let's try this out and see... Because the positive thing when he sends them off is they give off a little shadow. So we basically can see where they is. The first one is over here as we can see. There we are. Yes. Two more to find. The other one is probably over here. Uh, come here. There's the other one. Yes. Great. So the last one is probably over in this corner here. Is that you? Yes, that's you. By golly! Arby down! It's plumb incredible! <laughs> that's the last one! You found them all! Come over here, son! Come over to me! I have something to show you. I have something to give you. Hey you! You have got a talent! To do one of the world's best... Become one of the best cowboys! Yeah, because then you don't have to do any work, right? <laughs> You're going to put us into labor, in like hard-working labor, like your brother. <laughs> How'd you say to marry Marlon, huh? <laughs> Isn't that a little too like, um? Oh, those cookies are now annoying me by the sound. But isn't that kind of a, a, a not free thing you should ask a child if you want to marry his daughter? I, I would understand if it was adult like, like, oh, you saved the farm. Come marry Malin. <laughs> kind of thing. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I was just kidding, just kidding. Ah, that's what we dads do. We make dad jokes that mean that they kind of incinerate and we kind of want you as our steps or our uh, as our like uh, our daughter's uh, husband is uh, son-in-law. That was the word I was trying to figure out. <laughs> but I think you're a little too little. Uh, I think you're a little too young for that, aren't you? Ha 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 ha. 
Oh, I'm a, I'm a proud to present you a symbol of our very own Lon Lon Mill. Oh yeah, we actually get a prize. So what is this gonna be? You'll be energized in the moment you drink it. After that, you can bring back the bottle uh, and buy a refill anytime. <gasps> please be a bottle, please be a bottle, please be a bottle. That's not a bottle. But it's something that's energized as well. Kind of fits in with the theme of energizing. I, I'm not gonna complain, other than I kind of need a sword for that. But on the other hand, magic is going to become very handy, so... Even if we kind of like got the... Um, what is called the Lens of Truth? We wouldn't be able to use it unless we had magic, so... Magic is really good to uh, get in the early stages, I think? Even just a little, so I'm not gonna complain there. Um, I'm just gonna be safe before I open up the, the start menu because I have, as I said uh, in the previous one, experienced a lot of crashing when I open the start menu and I'm not quite sure why. So every time I usually open the start menu when I've been completing stuff, I usually just save for safe measures since it is an emulator and they are known to crash. Um, let's talk to her. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard you found my dad. How did how did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? <gasps> Does she look like me? I okay. <laughs> my dad come in a hurry after you found him. Oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She is this horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? Well, she ran away from us. Hey, Epona. Horsey. <laughs> oh well. Another time, Bona. Um, maybe in a second, actually. So what are we... Uh, oh. Oh yeah, we have to talk to her three times before we can swing out our ocarina and jam with her. <laughs> Which is a weird thing, really. It seems like Epona is afraid of you, fairy boy. Hmm, maybe? My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing it together. And that's the sad thing. That's something I often realize in games that there are absent parents due to one or other reason. And there actually is a room, I think you will be told what happened to her, but I'm not sure. But I, I'm assuming she passed or got annoyed with Talon because he was a lazy bomb and then moved out. I don't know. Oh, Kurt and Karina. Are you going to play this song with Karina? Okay, that's definitely not an Epona song. But that's a warp to Hyrule Castle, so I'm not gonna complain about that. Okay. So we basically have the pre-room light. So that's a warp to the the Temple of Time. So that's actually a good warp point to start out with, I guess. Especially if you have to switch between a child and adult. And now Epona likes us, just for a second at least. Likes us very much. As you can see, she's trying to give us horsey hawks. Though, I must admit, um, I know a lot of people that likes horses, but I kind of... Um, in games, it's not shown because it's a game horse. But I actually have a slight phobia of horses. I'm scared of horses. Um, and that actually comes from an injury I was given as a child. Uh, I was kicked in the head by a... Oh, uh, back kicked in the head by a horse. So I haven't really gone near them since. And I know by fact, also as an adult now, that that's the number one thing you should never do. But as a, like, a four-year-old, you don't know you shouldn't go behind a horse. Because they can back kick if they are frightened or something. And that's what happened. But I was out cold for like hours after that, and I. But apparently, I didn't really get any injuries for it, which is really nice. Or <laughs> I'm not very happy for that, actually. <laughs> However, it's just like ever since I just haven't gone near horses at all. Um, it's one of the things where I kind of go. I don't really want to admit it, but I'm actually afraid of horses. And some of my friends do, ha or I actually have two friends who own horses. Like, why don't you want to come out and ride on a horse with me? And like. Nah, I'm good, girl. I'm good. I'm good. Yes, let's come down here. Because there is actually a nest in here with a piece of heart. And... Let's... 
Where is the enter? There we are. <laughs> but yeah, this is one of the funny stories from my childhood. Like, many of my stories actually includes me getting injured. Because <laughs> that was kind of like... Ooh. 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 We have double heart, guys! Awesome! Oh, that's, that's awesome. That means we are very, very well off right now. That's awesome. I, I can't I can't even like begin to tell you how awesome that is. Um are we stuck behind here now? I, oh, no, we're not. Okay, good. Um So this is actually the, I would say this seat is actually really nice. Um Like like I've seen other people's seeds, like streamers and other YouTubers, especially uh, NCS, uh, shortened for an acronym for Nintendo Capri Sun, or Capri Sun, depending on how you pronounce it, and then just Jepsen. And it's very varied of how lucky you are, in the sense of, like, you, you never really know how well this seed is gonna go, because it's completely random, you don't know what you're gonna get. It's like a life is a box of chocolate kind of situation. And this is the only sculpture that you will be able to get during daytime at Lolon Ranch, so I'm just gonna take it. Because um, I can't remember if you actually have to use a song song to get the rest, really. I think you have to. I don't. I can't remember if you can enter Lolon Long Ranch during the night. So. But we will just slowly get all the sculptures that we need. But there's actually a room, as far as I remember. And I haven't seen many Let's Play, so I can show it because it has no necessary to the story at any point. But there's actually a room up here. And I remember my brother and I finding it and it was like, Why? What? What is this all about? And there's like pots in here you can smash like any other living room. And you can see there's a bed and a kitchen table. It's really cozy up here, really. I would really have loved if you could find a diary or something up here where you could get some understanding of why and him and how. But I'm assuming that if you come here during the night, they will be up here instead, uh, outside. I've never actually gone into this place at night. And I keep saying I haven't, but the experience I've had with my brother it, it felt like one and the same for me when I was watching him play the game. I felt I was playing the game as well, so usually I... My brother laughs a little about it because I'm kind of like, Yeah, I did that, no. Uh, and he goes like, No, I did that. <laughs> so yeah, that, that, that's always been very fun. But as, as you can see, I'm on the way back to... Uh, Kokiri Forest. Uh... I think. Oh, we over here. <laughs> I was like, that's too many dead plants or dangerous spiky plants. I don't know what they're called. Only that I very massively fear them because I don't have a certain shield that can protect me from it. So, ah, go away, go away, go away, go away. Leave me alone. I don't like enemies that attack me, let's just put it like that. Um, and this is another thing that I think actually, actually think that deterred me, deterred me a lot from playing the game, in a, as a total really, um, as a child, was that I had a very vivid imagination. And not that that has to be an excuse for anything, but when I played the game, the, the few dungeons that I played, I was so scared of dying or letting my character die because my imagination as a seven-year-old was very vivid. I was even told that, that I thought if my character died, I died. I was so much into the game that I thought that the whole narrative, I was him. So it, it was kind of weird, but my mom always thought that it was a face I would grow out of, but I never really did. I still have that some of those days sometimes when I go like, ah. My imagination is too good at the moment. I should not be playing certain games because I would be dragged into them. Like, like really just imagining it's me because we're looking through this spectacle of a character. 
It's really weird and odd to talk about, but it's interesting. Um, let's see what this is going to be then. Oh, we are continuing with the ruby thing. But on the other hand, I can clearly live with that because of the double or the double up on hearts technically we've gotten. So that's great. And now it's a memory game, which my brother as well hated. So I always did this as well. So this is du, du, du. And I love memory games, I love puzzles, and I probably should play games. There are Zelda games that's based more on the puzzles than actually the bosses, like Spirit Tracks, which I've actually played a lot of. Um, one of my friends introduced it to me, and I was so in love with it that I actually bought it myself. Oh, fuck, uh, wrong one. Um, it was a down, and not a side. So let's try again. That's actually a very interesting thing is when you uh, when you talk while trying to memorize. Um, sometimes you forget what you were trying to memorize. But this is a very classic like memory game which I played a lot when I was younger. And I'm playing with a not N64 controller, so it's also to remember where those buttons are on this controller uh, or what equivalence to that on this controller and it's not necessarily that easy because it's not buttons in this one <laughs> here it's like a a joy-con really so you can easily you can easily mess up actually with just a little slight tilt to the wrong side, you would definitely uh, get stuff wrong. Or it would trigger as the wrong thing, really. Oop. <laughs> as I said, I actually tilted upwards, but I tilted upwards to the side, so it registered as the wrong one uh, here. And I could feel that when I did it, so <laughs> I knew it was going to be wrong. Oh no. I'm actually really good at these. Just not today, apparently. But I'm also a bit tired because it's been a very long, long day, actually. Um, meetings and such. So we have all the four base players there, okay? Uh, and then up again, okay. I'm gonna cut this out if it takes too long, but I don't think it will. It's just me that has to work on memorizing everything, and that's fine. There we are, people. It only took a little tiny bit of concentration, and we got there. Is it worth it? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> okay. Um, that was like 10 minutes of me failing at... Well, it's definitely not worth it. But on the other hand, we can just go in the grass here and get some more rubies. Because we also we can also go to the deco sprout. Or the deco... Deco salesman! The salesman deco! Deco salesman over here. North Nyar. And basically buy whatever he has. Because the salesmen are also uh, random. Which is going to be interesting. Oh, we just have to remember there is a plant thing here. I think that's the one I, we always forgot. Actually. Come on. There we go. Can't see you. Come on. There we are. Now you wanna talk, theory? I surrender. To make your quest easier, 
I can enable you to pick up more deco sticks. That would actually not be bad if that's vanilla. Because then we could technically go beat Goma. Because then we would have 20 deco sticks. And that should be more than plenty to beat her with. And it will only cost you 40 rupees. Well, plenty of rupees, so let's go away then. Um, that's not deck of sticks. <laughs> this is really so random. Like, at least we can say that our adult character is very, very well off now. <laughs> but our child character is not so well off. We, I would really like the either the Kokiri sword now or some more sticks. That would be nice. <laughs> Anyway, you got the hover boots. With these mysterious boots, you can hover above ground. Uh, down. The downside? No traction. <laughs> oh yeah, you slide around like you're on ice with these. That's right. That that that's gonna be scary. But on the other hand, do we have enough sticks for what I'm going to do? Is it the other thing that's a little annoying at the moment, or a little challenging rather, more than the, it's, it's not really annoying, it's just challenging, is that with us not having the boomerang, we can't just stock up, um, stock up on deco sticks like we want to. Um, but I'm just gonna go down and buy some extra deco sticks because I'm also gonna go see Soria at the moment. Or in a moment. And there's, of course, a little battle before we can see her, or else there will be no challenge, right? <laughs> You just give a little extra money here. Yes, thank you. Thank you, kind sir. And go in here. Uh, and I know I maybe come off as one who's played this game before. But when you've seen the game being played out so many times, it's kind of the same thing as you have been playing it yourself. And that's the thing that some people realize when they see a person play this a lot or you've seen so many playthroughs in it. I think I've seen 17 different play people playing this game on YouTube. Not the random but I suggested the vanilla game or the regular game, right? And you get all the tips and tricks, you get all the, the little extra notches how to beat bosses without a problem. And it makes the game so much easier to think. About and plus, when you grew up in the game and you memorized it so vivid or not vividly, but so much because this was the game my brother played for months, and he would restart a game, do it again, restart a game, do it again, and I always had to do the puzzles. So many of the puzzles and such I remember very easily. Well, with the battle context, like with some of the um, some of the bosses, I have no recollection of. Um, because he did those. So many of the puzzles I will remember, which you will probably be able to see. And the other things I'm kind of like, what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> I don't know. And right now I'm kind of just wandering around because the randomizer is a little kind in this way, as you can see here. Because if you can see in the randomizer, this is just a little black aura where here you can see the white. Um, and that makes it a lot easier to find, but I know I have to go to this side. Yes, thank you. all So basically we just have to take out our sticks. Oh no, I forgot something. A very, very important thing that I need to do. Okay, uh, I will be right back, guys. Okay, let's see, what did Raita forget? She forgot the de deco seeds. <laughs> because they are so handy in this little battle that's coming up. I think that people heavily underestimate the power of the deco seeds. I'm telling you guys. Yes. There we go! That easy. With the deco seeds, it's that easy. And that's why I think people, you know, like, it's not really seen as the most helpful um, item in the game. But if you don't have a sword, and especially for the randomizers, I think this is probably the 
best thing ever you could have. Okay, let's take... Oh, there was a uh, Deco. Oh, yeah, they're called Deco Scrubs. That's what they're called. I've been troubled so many times with trying to remember what they're called. They're called Deco Scrubs. Deco Scrubs. Ah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's a good thing we got the life extension, eh? <laughs> oh, no, actually, we, we can't go this way. This was a... No, 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 don't dive. Don't dive. This was not the right way to go. It's actually this way. And then we can go... Woo! Go, Come on. There we go. Go away with you. And they're just gonna try and go back to their little scrubby nest over there. That's what they're most focused about when they are shot out, <laughs> shot by themselves. It's kind of like, why are you hitting yourself kind of moment. Which is... A very typical thing sibling stood watching itself like why are you hitting yourself why are you hitting yourself and this guy didn't even want to try <laughs> okay so now we're getting saria song so what's that gonna be is that the serenade award it is i remember the songs when you play them but when i see them i can't completely remember them but that helps out a lot, because then we just go to Lake Hyrule now. And let's just... what does Sari want? Oh, hello, uh, well, fairy! Blah, 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 blah. You got a fairy! Oh, she's so happy! Oh! Yeah, see you in the get to my tree! Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you'll be gone when we're an adult, but that's obvious why. Um... You still haven't gotten into your scrub yet? Oh. Go away. Yeah, that's fine. You do what you want. See, the Deco Scrubs is very vastly underestimated. In my world, I actually like to use them a lot with bosses, especially the kid bosses. Um, from my experience with battling Queen Goma and Durango, I haven't actually battled the third one. Um, that's the thing, like, when I see I haven't used them in battle against bosses, I only refer to the two bosses I've actually ever completed. <laughs> so that's so interesting. So it's really going to be interesting how I would do with, like, the adult bosses and even the third child boss, which I was frightened of as a child. That's why I never got any further. And as time progressed, it just came a lot of new, um, new games to play. So you forgot about it a bit. And why did I run through all that when I just could do this? No, oh, no, that was not it. No, that was not it. <laughs> do, 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 do. That was this. And then we can go to Lake Hylia where there's also some stuff that we can technically do. We can... We can definitely do the diving thing in the house. We can get the bottle. We can also get the bottle. Please be the letter in the bottle. <laughs> Please be vanilla. Because <laughs> that's probably going to be so, uh, so helpful if it is. Because that kind of... That would probably unlock a lot for us. Oh... Please be a bottle. Litter in a bottle. <laughs> or just be a bottle, really. I could use a bottle. Because that would help us in our little Skotulia run. Uh, Skotula run. Um, definitely. Um, oh yeah, there's also these guys down here. I actually want to do that first. Because I always forget these. Um, there's these scarecrows down here. And if we go talk to Pierre over here... Oh, hi, Snyar. He kind of like, Oh, give me a ability. My name is Pierre. I'm the wandering scarecrow. Actually, I wish I could wander around. Looking like a soul, <laughs> soul moving sounds, but <laughs> I'm kind of stuck here. I'm a scarecrow. <laughs> so, um, the thing is that I always play the same song because that was when, as far as I remember, the reason why you make this song like this. Um... It's because that's what... It, the funny thing is, this is a notch back again to my childhood memories. That's actually the one 
my brother and I crafted for the sake of remembering, because it's technically still a slumber by just opposite and then with two extra A's. Hey. Because they would not, apparently, at the time, and I don't know if they still won't, except a six uh, note song. So basically, we're just gonna. Oh, you have all Karina, I play that music tune for me. We need to be a DJ here, like do 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 do. There we go. Hmm. Well, not bad. I remember that anyway. Uh, left, 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 left. Uh, eight note. I only remember eight notes. Uh, I don't mean I can only remember eight notes. Just like the cut right to for you. Okay. Yeah. So, it is an eight note song that you have to have, and just by having it the, the reverse uh, Silver's Lullaby and then two A's, makes it quite easy to remember. Ugh. Oh, it's just a Sora. <laughs> you scared me there, fella! <laughs> okay, let's see, let's dive down here, and please be vanilla! Please be vanilla! Please be something good or... Uh, okay, I didn't get it this wrong. <laughs> Please be vanilla, please be vanilla, please be vanilla. Uh, apparently, I'm not good at catching bottles. <laughs> Even though it's a completely inanimate item that's just sitting there. Okay, let's see here. Bloopy! <laughs> so that was the trouble. Okay, there's one last thing we can do here, like highlight right now. Which is basically just due to the fact that we have the ultimate scale. We can go and talk to the scientist in here. The old man scientist! Brrr. He's an old man! Like, see, he's a very old man. And basically what we just have to do... And actually I'm just gonna go over here because then I'll also get a 20 rupee. Um, it's so weird I can remember all these things, but again, I watch a lot of people play this. Oh, I didn't get the rookie actually. That's okay. Let me just try that again. Um, it's so weird I can remember all these things, but when you watch something so many times, you just remember them. They kind of sit in the back of your head, and when you're playing it, it's like, oh yeah, it's like that, oh yeah, it's right that. Can't remember how to defeat the boxes, but that's fine. I remember all the tricks about the boxes. Uh, most of them, anyway. What is that? I don't want to know what that is. <laughs> that's scary. You touched the bottom of the vial! Yay! Oh. Well. Well, then that's out of the way. We didn't actually need a sword, but, or not need another shield, but that's okay. That means we have... What else do we... What else can we do? We can actually go into the Sora's fountain and do, I think, two things at max. <coughs> um, so let's, let's get them out of the way. I like to do all of the mini puzzles and such, because when they are out of the way, there's... Especially with randomizers, there's a chance that there are items that you actually need. And do I have enough deco sticks for this? I hope so! Um, so let's go up here. The first thing is lighting the lanterns, which in the last one I couldn't remember the name of. Like, there are the fiery things that just had to be uh, caught on fire, but when I'm tired... I think for many, language just just doesn't compute. Language does not exist in your brain at, like, very early in the morning. Um, I recorded it just after recording... Um, just after recording... Hogwarts Mystery, so my brain was still, like, slightly not existing <laughs> with language. So that was quite interesting. I also remember I did this a lot for my brother as well because... Uh, there we go. And now the other one kind of turned off because it'd be stupid like that. It didn't give me the right time frame there. <laughs> so we're just gonna... No! We failed! No! And we just go back up. I hope I have not done six. For some reason it sometimes does that. 
which is really annoying, is that when you get to the other ones, that even though you make it in slight time of burning, as I call it, the time of burning, um, the first one just extinguishes for some reason, which is really annoying. And you can't roll run. There we are. And to save a Deku Stick. Come on. No. There we are. Save the Deku Stick. <laughs> we looked inside the chest there, but it didn't really give us anything. Okay. Please be something really good. Be the Kokiri sword, please. Go hero! So we did. Does that mean we still have to do the Great Goron quest at some point? Oh, by wait. That means you still get something from the big Goron after the quest? You, you actually still have to do that? Oh no. I hate that puzzle quest. <laughs> oh no. Because I don't know what he, he supposedly is gonna give us. Uh, I would try and avoid that one as well if I can, but if I'm really missing some items, he must have them kind of thing, right? So that's not good. Okay. Okay, okay. There's only one more thing we can do here in the Sora fountain for now until we get the bottle because he's kind of stuck in the, his little way. And if you just try and talk to him, he's going like, where's my daughter? Like, no, we don't know. Where did you place her? Like, where did you last see her? It's not our, it's not our job to keep track of your daughter. You're the parent, right? So yeah. Um, oh, this is actually going to be quite easy with the golden scale. Yes, 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 yes. Ahoy! This is also a really easy way to grind because you give 20 rubies uh, to play the game actually. But you have to pick up 25 rubies. So it is a way to grind um, in a randomizer. I wouldn't say it's really a good way to grind in a regular playthrough because you can technically just go out to a grass plot and cut down the grass and then you would technically get possibly more than 5 ruby for the time then the time you have to go run back and forth between the areas and the Sora and all those things because we have to go up to him again uh, we have to go up to him again up here and then we have to figure out what is what can we do else we can probably it exit the normal Sora area but we can't do much without bombs in that area. Well, there is there is a grotto in that area we could probably go to. And there, I know there's Sculptoria doing the night, so we could probably do that too. So, yeah, this is where you get the blue scale, by the way. So let's see what we else get. Well... Well... That's... Well... That's interesting! It's not the best one of them, of the winds, or like the power and such, but it's really helpful in some of the dungeons. So basically we just got a teleport system going in for dungeons. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. This seed is being kind, other than it's not giving me a Kokiri sword. I would love that. <laughs> um, I'm very stuck on the Kokiri sword, but the Kokiri sword really helps out a lot as a child. Else we would have to just go by the power of steaks throughout the whole childhood battle system, and that's gonna be... That's gonna be something. That's really gonna be something. But... Yeah, there's a piece of heart there. There's also another piece of heart. And I know there's gonna be a Sculptula on the staircase just in a second, actually. We can just wait for that very, very slowly. Just go and get our slingshot out here. 
Oh yeah, there's also the bean guy here, so we can get the the bean plant warps. Oh, there's so many things that we can do, even though we don't have the materials to do a lot. Like, we have a lot of weapons, and we can technically go uh, and become an adult and do some stuff. But I like to complete stuff as, as much as I can as a kid, because it kind of makes way for you as an adult, especially with the bean things. Um, Hey, get tonight already. It was getting like a yellowish. Like. It was indicating it was going to be. Uh, night soon, right? Where's the sky? Oh, no. <laughs> Where is the sky? Where you be at? I need to check you out here because I don't have the sun on, which makes everything a little harder. No, it's just daylight. I thought it was going to become nighttime soon because this is one of the things that always annoyed me with this game because it kind of frightened me because I didn't like the stall poses and the daytime seems so much to become no I need a cuckoo for that okay okay so the question is is the last thing we should do here is actually go with the cuckoo run um, and get some beans so we can go plant them in the next one that sounds like a good idea. I like to finish off areas and then plan, maybe plan out with the items that I have and that I have to kind of plan out what the next thing is too. And I kind of planned out to do this area, but then I realized I didn't have bombs. Very slowly realized that I didn't have bombs, so <laughs> that made it a little challenging. Um, very much so. Yes, we will just yes, just just give us beans. Spill the beans, man! Just spill the beans. Oh my! Oh yeah, they 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 get more and more pricey. Uh oh, that's gonna be challenging. Well, we can get three beans, which is good. And. One of them I would definitely plant in Kakariko because there's a box which has a piece of heart which might not be a piece of heart. There is... Yeah, of course, the the one at the Deco Salesman, but I can't remember if that's a gold school tier or if it's a heart piece. I think it's a heart piece. And then there is... I'm just thinking of the areas where we've been to. Uh, that would lead to a piece of heart. I don't quite remember. Oh, come here, dearie. Because there are two pieces of heart you can get here and a chest. And I think I will go for those as well before we end up. Just so I remember I've done them. <laughs> and I think it's a good way to end up uh, just to see what we have there. And then maybe go and become an adult in the next one. And finish off some stuff there. And then we just need to go over here. whoop -dee. And what are you? Well, if we need to buy more beans, now we can do it. Oh yeah, there's also the the hard piece at the, the Dongo Cavern. That's right. There's also... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh yeah, I actually don't like using the chickens or the cuckoos. Because for some reason, I have a tendency of um, throwing them in the water for some reason. Oh, this is actually going well right now. I'm not going to jinx it, but um, this is going a lot more well than I planned out um, for some reason. You can go home now because there is, as far as I remember, a cuckoo more up here we can use to get the other piece of heart at the Sora's entrance. Well, the Sora's Fountain's entrance. And let's see. Oh, yeah, this. Uh, oh, there. I was talking about the girl going like, oh, wasn't that up here? Yes, it's up here. Brr. And it's just a chest. Yeah. I was like, is it a memory or a chest? That's not something I always remember, but what's in here? What do we have? A recovery heart. Well, at least it wasn't like a big maze you had to go through, so it's not that disappointing that for the recovery heart. I would have been more sad if it had it like if it if it had been like 
the big Goron quest and then bigger and then that would just have been a recovery arc. I would have been sad if that was the case or if that's the case. I would be really really sad because I hate the running quests. And since we don't have Epona's song, that would make it even more challenging to do because we don't have the extra time that we probably need to get to the Great Goron before the timer runs out. Because the summit is full of angry skulltulas and fiery stones of death. Oh, actually, we didn't actually we, we didn't need to actually go over here, but uh, oh well. Let's just do it this way then. And what do we get? Holy! This is a good game, guys, because the bombs unlike unlocks the um th that unlocks the bomb shoe bowling areas, which we can do in the next one. Because now we can just travel back to to Haru Castle without a problem, because we have the preload of light. And we can go to like uh, Hylia without problems as an adult. Oh yeah, we should actually take that as a note next time that we have to do the we have to do the bean at Hyrule Lake because we don't have the hook shot and we can't go fish without either the flower or the hook shot. I have to remember that till next time. This is so awesome, you guys. This is way so awesome. So there are, my, there are actually some more things we can do as a child now, um, before we become an adult. So we will be finishing those off in the next one. And until next time guys, take care and have a fantastic day. Yeah. <sighs>